Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year to all my brethren, my lovely one. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New, Happy New Year. Our oh, glorious New Year. Hallelujah. This is a glorious New Year. Hallelujah. A year of upliftment, a year of acceleration, a year of a double anointing, a year that we are to achieve those things we have not be able to achieve for the past years. This is the year of recovery, a year to recover all, all that we have lost. Hallelujah. Thank God Almighty for making it possible. Amen. Thank God for this another wonderful day for us to be in his presence. Hallelujah. Glory be to God for making it possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, today is the day that the Lord has made. The day the Lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. So there is no way we can live without eating. So the same thing as his children of God, there is no way we can live without taking our spiritual food. So that is what we used to grow. So today we are going to hear the word of God, which make us to grow every day. Hallelujah. Before we go properly into the word, let's bow down our head as we worship the King of Kings, as we exalt the name of our Father in heaven. Hallelujah. You are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Jesus, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Jesus, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Father, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh, Jesus, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Daddy, you are Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh. Alpha, Omega. Daddy, you are Yahweh. That is your name, Baba. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Daddy, we thank you for another opportunity. Another wonderful day that you have made, Baba, King of Glory. For we, your children, to rejoice and be glad in it. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we bless you. Daddy, we exalt you. Daddy, we thank you for this moment of our life, O oh God. For making it possible, Baba. For we, your children, to gather again, O oh God. Baba, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. We thank you for your word that you have been using, oh God, to nourish our soul, to bless our soul. Oh, Daddy, we thank you. We thank you of a truth. Your word is life, oh God, and truth. Daddy, we give you all the glory. Almighty and everlasting Father, as your word come again, Baba, King of glory, to nourish us again, Father, King of glory, back your word up, oh Lord, Baba. Let it come with power. Let it come with wisdom. Let it come with understanding. Let it come, oh God, Baba, in a way that you want us, oh God, to receive it, oh God, tonight, oh Lord, Father. Daddy, Lord, King of glory, manifest yourself again. 
to the glory of your holy name, Baba, in the name of Jesus, so that your word will be a blessing to every one of us today, in the name of Jesus Christ. May we not be the hearer, only, O Lord, Baba, help us to be the doers of your word, O God, obedient servants, O God, unto you, Daddy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Precious Holy Spirit, I decree myself so that, O Lord, you will increase in me, O God. Baba, put your own trust in my mouth, O God, speak through me, Baba, this hour, O God, Baba, in the name of Jesus. I have no wisdom of my own, I have no knowledge of my own. Father, take control, take us a look on true, so that the end that in your name only will be glorified. Bless your word, O God, Baba, and let it be a blessing to every one of us. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Bless you, brethren. Bless you all. Bless you all. At this hour, let's go to the word. The topic before us today is say, all your hearts, soul and body, and soul and mind. Hallelujah. All your hearts, soul and mind. Hallelujah. That is the topic. All your hearts, it's your soul and your minds. Hallelujah. So, and our test is taken from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 22, as we we'll consider 33, 35. Verse 35 to 38. Hallelujah. We are going to read 35 to 38. Matthew 22. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 22, verse 35 to 38. I read. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, thanked him and said, Master, which is the great commandment in the law. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Verse 38, the last verse. This is the first and the great commandment. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless his word into our hearts in Jesus' name. So, our topic today was taken from that Bible passage that we read, which when I said, all your hearts, souls, and minds. So there is a man who comes to Jesus Christ and asks Jesus, Master, which one is the great among all these commandments, among this law, which one is the greatest? And Jesus makes that man to understand that the greatest of all is that that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Hallelujah. Brethren, we thank God for the new year, the glorious new year that God Almighty has led every one of us into. It is not because we are too good. It's not because we are too holy. It is just His mercy, His grace that has kept every one of us. Hallelujah. So, that is why I'm coming to us today with this word of encouragement, just to encourage us because of the new year we just entered into. Because the beginning of everything matters. It is how you lay your bed, matter, depend how you are going to lie on it. So the beginning of everything matters. So how are we going to start the, this new year, this glorious new year that God Almighty has led every one of us into? It's very, very important in our life as a believer. As we, the believer, the children of God, is very important. How are we going towards start it? It's very important. So, brethren, that is why I'm coming to us today to encourage us that we should love our God, the Almighty Father, our Creator, our Maker. Let us love Him with the whole of our hearts, with the whole of our soul. And with the whole of our mind. Hallelujah. So, how are we going to love God? You might say, yes, I love God. Ah, there's no, how will you tell me to love, I, to love God? I already love God. Yes, it's true. Every one of us love God. So many of us, we say it with our mouths. We exaggerate with it that we love God. So, it's not only by saying it in mouths. But let us demonstrate it. Let us put it into practice. Let us work it out. That our Father the Heaven is there, we see us and we say of a truth. 
my children, they love me. Hallelujah. So that is it, my brethren. You see, this man, for him to come and meet Jesus to say which one is the greatest, so he knew. He wants to know because he has seen the whole law. All of them are good. But which one is the greatest? And God make him to know. Jesus make him to know which one is the greatest. So that is it, my brethren. God wants us to be a total, totally his own. You cannot claim to, to truly love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. If any or anything is more important than him in your life. That is why I said before, many of us, we say, we love God, we love God. Ah, you don't need to tell me, I love God. He's my father, he's my creator, he's true. So, what this place is making us to understand today. How will you say, how will you claim that you love God? And when any, another thing is so much important than God in your life. How will you not demonstrate it? So, today, so many of us, we, we make our marriage to be first. So many of us, it's our children that is first. So many of us, it's our work that is first. Then we will see the same, we love God. But when we not bring the two together at the same time, then they will not be able to differentiate if we really love God or not. Some people can leave God work just for the sake of another thing. Because they will believe that if I don't do that thing now, or it might be work, or it might be in marriage, or whatever, that if I don't do it now, how will I move? How will I live? My marriage will collapse. My do this. Hallelujah. So that is where we are missing it. Let us not forget. The Bible makes us to understand seeking first the kingdom of God, and every other thing will be added unto you. So you can't tell me if you do God's work, if you put God first. That they will sack you or your husband, your marriage will collapse. No, it will not happen. Because no one serve God faithfully and go be next at all. I pray for the grace for us to continue to put God in number one in our life. Hallelujah. Amen. This then means that loving God with all our hearts, soul and mind is not optional. No, it's not a thing that, that you say, eh, I will do it today. I, I choose by myself. Whatever I like, if I, say, if I decide to do, I do know. But compulsory for all children of God, we are to what, acknowledge the supremacy and the excellency of what? Of the Almighty God. The God Almighty, the one who has all power, the one who, 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 who the Otokina do, the one who say a thing and it comes to pass. Hallelujah. So the one who was everything, he created everything for our own good. Hallelujah. So you cannot say, eh, if I like, I do. No. It's compulsory that we must love God. It's, a, it's compulsory. It's compulsory for the children of God. Hallelujah. Just like let us use our earthly father now. Do you, do you think... Your father, we, we, who gave birth to you, who trained you to school, who, you know, there are so many sacrifices they made for us to grow up. Then as you now grow up down, maybe you are working or even if you are not starting work, you are only, you always talk of somebody. It might be your uncle or your, your, your friend, father or anybody. You just put anybody, let me, anybody, let this be anybody. It can be your uncle, it can be your friend, father or whoever. You always say about that person, that that person is good, that person is a good father, that person is a good father, he's my father, ah, he's my father, father. And your father is there. How do you feel? How do you think your father will feel? You, but you never say of your own father, you never praise him to anybody. You never tell anybody about him. Ah, that my father is good. My father is this. My father is this. No, my father knows this. My father is this. No, you never say it. But you are always saying of this particular person that this man is good. Maybe the man gave you school fees or the man buy you a car or whatever. I don't know what the, what the man has done in your life. 
that make you to always praise him, praise him, even to even the presence of your father, even to other people, you say it. How do you think your own father will feel? Hallelujah. So that is it, my brethren. How do we think our heavenly father, our father who heaven, who created us, who make everything available, possible for us to live comfortable here on earth? Hallelujah. He said he created everything for us. Hallelujah. Then that same person, then you will see you when he make everything for you. Then you will see you when his work is there. Just lamenting. His work is there. Nobody is concerned about his, his work. Because there's nothing we can do for God. Though. We cannot cook for God. Though. We cannot build house for God. We cannot buy cars for God at all. The only thing God wants for us is just to praise him. Just to worship him. Just to obey him and save him. That is what he needs from us. Let his kingdom, his work, his weekend work, yeah, be what be lifted. Be going on. Not that we abandon it, we are pursuing our own. We pursue our own every day. We do our own. We make sure our work is tidying up. We did not let. We did not uh, uh, offend our our um, our our boss at, at work. We make everything well. But when it comes to the work of God, if I like, some of us, if we like, it is when we have. Some of us, it's when we have chance, we do it. When the time is not, when it's not convenient for us, we will not do it. We have so many reasons. That will give to back it up. Just like a woman that say, ah, um, uh, I did not come to church because the church is cold. There is no scandal in the church. The church is cold. That is why. But you know, I used to come to church because the church is cold. That means that if church cold or anything happen, you will not go to the house of God. You will not praise God. You will not worship your God. You will not serve God. But if there is a party in that same hall, you will go. If there is a party, your friend is doing party, like birthday party or marriage or whatever, you will go. But because it's a church, because you don't, to you, it's anytime you like, you go. To you, you anytime you like, you don't go. It doesn't matter. Amen. So, which love are you demonstrating? Which love are you showing? So, my brethren, we are in New Year now. Please, Let's show that love to our Father in heaven. The supremacy and the excellence of the word of the Almighty God. The Lord of the heaven and the earth of all time and in all we do. Let us what, love him. When we say love, when we say love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. That is to say the heart, your desire. You are desiring this year. Now we have entered new year now. You have placed so many things you are going to do this year. Some of us have even said this summer in the vacation that we are taking our children to to so -so place. Some will say they will go to Paris. They will go to uh, London. They will go to this. So many people have prepared what they will do. That or some will say I will take my family to this. I will do this. Or some will say that I will buy I will buy car now this year. I will do this. You are making so many projects. Your desire. In your heart, you have so many desires that you are preparing, maybe for you yourself, or for your husband, or for your wife, or for your children, or for your family. What is God own? Which one are you desiring that this year, this is what I'm going to do for my God. This is what I'm going to do for, what is your desire for God this year? Even in your soul, the total being of you, what are you, your feeling? Your thoughts for the work of God to move forward. What are you thinking about the, the, the progress of the work of God? For the ministry to move forward, what is your concern about it? So that is how we love God. With our minds. With our mind also. Your thoughts. What is your thoughts? In your thoughts, what you are thinking. Do you ever put God in that thought? Is God in, ever in your thoughts or in your in, in your thinking or your feeling? No. Some of us will only think of the food we eat. We only think of 
the 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 clothes we will buy we only think of the 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 material things we will do or what we will do for ourselves or our lovely ones what is your thoughts concerning god this year all the analysis you have made down now for this year where did you place god in the middle or in the beginning or at the last where did you place him that is how we can say we love God with our hearts, with our soul, with our minds. Hallelujah. Why should we love God? We will love him because he's a command. Hallelujah. It's a command. It's a command for every one of us, the children of God, to love God. Hallelujah. Because you see the book of Exodus. Let's look the book of Exodus. And even the Matthew 22, 37 we read before. What did he say? He said, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. So it's a command because Jesus said. Jesus took that man. When that man asked, what is, which one is the greatest? Jesus made him to know that this one, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. So it's a command. So this is why we must love God. And Exodus 20, Exodus 20, verse 3. Let's see what Exodus 20, verse 3 said. Exodus 20, verse 3. Make us to understand that thou shalt have no other God before me. You should not have any other God before me. So that is to say, is only God you will serve the Lord of your soul, the one who has created you. Hallelujah. So, number two, I say, we'll, Why should we love God? Number two, I say, Because He loves us first. So, because He loves us, so we have to love Him too. God loves us first, and He sent His Son, Hallelujah, to come and die for us. So, because He loves us. We must love him also. Hallelujah. So, love is all about sacrifice. Because if you see the book of John 3.16, our popular verse, verse that we always quote every time. For God so loved the world, he gave. Hallelujah. For God so loved, he gave his only begotten son. That he should do what? He should die. So that he would, we will be saved. Can you imagine somebody giving his own life just to save your own life, for your own life to be saved, for your own life to be redeemed? Hallelujah. For you to have a better future, for you to have a better life, for you to be liberated from that bondage you wear, you wear a slave, for you to be liberated. He gave his own life for you so that you might have life. So what else do we need from a, 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 a lovely daddy? Hallelujah. So, Romans 5, verse 8. Let's see what Romans 5, verse 8 told us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans 5, verse 8 says, But God commanded his love towards us, in that why we were yet sinner, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. God's do what? He commanded his love towards us. God love us. Even when we were a sinner, not that we know God, not that we see the light, we don't know him. He sent his son to die. So these are the reasons why we must love him. Because he has made a great sacrifice for me and you. He has paid his great sacrifice. He has made a great sacrifice for even giving his son. So number three, I pull that because he is our father, we we want to want to serve him. So he's our father. So we are to serve him. So this is why we should love God. Hallelujah. So because he's our father, we must love him. Because every one of us, as I said before, we have our earthly father. So you know your earthly father, when he sends you a message, if you don't go, you know how they feel. So if we don't treat them well, if we don't honor them, if we don't respect them, hallelujah. So we are to serve them. Hallelujah. This is what they did that said we'll be what we be happy. Amen. Let's see John. John 14 21. Let's see John 14 21. 
John fourteen twenty one say, He that had, he that had my commandments and keepeth them, he it, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my word of my father, and I will love him, and I will manifest myself to him. Hallelujah. So he that was that have kept the commandments of God by words, by keeping his commandment by words, by loving him. If you love God, that is to say you keep that commandment. Because the beginning will make us to understand that it's a command that we should love God. Hallelujah. Because Jesus told that man that we should love God with all our soul, with all our mind. Hallelujah. So it's a command. When you begin to demonstrate this love, by doing, by what? By obedience. Doing obedience. Obedience to his voice, to his word. So whoever that keep that commandments of God, his word, is the one who love, who love God. And if you love Jesus, you love who sent him. Hallelujah. His father. Hallelujah. So by so doing, God will be manifesting your life. So let us have this mind of loving God. Even Matthew 6. Let's see Matthew 6, 24. Matthew 6, 24. Matthew 6, 24 say, No man can serve two, two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the, word, the other, or else he will, what, he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Hallelujah. You cannot serve God and mammon. So if you are serving two masters, you must love one and hate the other one. So, for us not to words, not to uh, hate uh, the work of God, for us not to uh, serve mammon, so we have to love God. Hallelujah. How are we going to love him now? It's going to be with the whole of our hearts by demonstrating needs of showing that gratitude, worshiping our God, obedience to his voice, to his word. Hallelujah. So, we cannot serve two masters at the same time. So, if you are serving God, serve God. And when you are serving him, love him by obeying him. Hallelujah. Obey his voice. Obey the voice of God. Ephesians 6, 1 to 3. Make us to understand that as a children, we are to obey our parents. Hallelujah. So Ephesians 6, 1 to 3. He said, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the word. The first commandment with promise is a commandment. Say the first commandment. Hallelujah. So, and the, the spirit, the last verse, say, that is, that it might be well with thee, and thou might live long in the earth. So, when you do this, it shall be well with you, and you will live long. So, for us, for it to be well with us, let us love God. By obeying him, let's obey him, instruction. Obey the word of God. Because the word of God is God himself. So if we obey the word of God, we are obeying our father, our father in heaven. So as the children, we are to, we are to honor our father and our mother so that it will be well with us. It's a first commandment. It's a commandment from God. Hallelujah. So I pray God will help every one of us that will continue to love God. With all we have. Hallelujah. Beloved, God desired that you should set your hearts, soul, and mind on Him alone. This is the only way to be a truly word, godly and a word, and serve Him acceptably. Every form of worldliness will even truly words, every form of, um, of godly of, of worldliness. With what even tolly words produce sin, therefore, godliness and contentment must be what our wash war. Hallelujah! So, let us serve God with the whole of our hearts, amen. Let us honor Him and let us obey Him because by the time we are doing it in our own way, my dear, before you know it, worldliness will come in, amen. So that is when you see some people will be serving, serving a uh, mama and serving God. There's no way you can do it. So by so doing, when you are serving two master, automatically you are in the other side serving mama. So let us be 
grateful for what God has done for us. Let us be contented with what God has done for us. For the evil giving his son for us to die for us to have life is enough for us. Hallelujah. So please, my brethren, that is what I have come to. Let us know today. That is what First Timothy chapter 6 verse 6 is say contentment with what with godliness is what is the best. Be contented with what you have. Be have a godly mind. Have a godly mind to love others, love your God, love your neighbor as well. And as we do, God Almighty will help us. That is what I have come to share with us today. Brethren, let us not put anything first before God. In our desire, in our thoughts, in our feeling, in our doing, let's try to put God first. Let God be in our words, in our discussion, everything we do. Let us not discuss and do everything first before we not say, ah, God, where are you? Okay, I put you there. No. I pray God Almighty will continue to help every one of us as we enter into this new year that we continue to love God with the whole of our hearts, even with our talents, we will serve God with our talents, with our finance, with everything within us, within us we use to, work, to love this God. I pray God Almighty will help every one of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you, Daddy, for a day like this. Thank you for your word that you have come all over back. So you to admonish us again. Father, King of glory, let this word, O God, Baba, be a part and pass for the first, O God, King of glory. Let it be a blessing to us. Let it fall in a good soil. Let it germinate. Let it bear fruits in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the grace for us to love you in all, Baba, in whatever we do with our hearts, with the whole of our hearts and souls and mind, Father, we pray for this grace, Baba. Let it be available in the name of Jesus. Let this grace be sufficient in our life in the name of Jesus. Let us put you first in all we do, Baba. This is the new year that you have made us to see. Father, let us put you first in all we do this year in the mighty name of Jesus. And the grace to serve you more and more. Father, let that grace be sufficient for us. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, glorious God. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Bless you all. We thank God Almighty for today. May his word continue to be a blessing to us. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen.